This is Tabby Cosplay speaking, and today we're going to be looking at Doc Den. This house is 30 by 20, it is only $92,567 as a one floor, two bedrooms, and one bathroom. This house is pretty cool. I actually thought that I had finished all of the houses in Windenburg, but I did not, and that surprised me. I said, how did I miss this guy? I checked my playlist several times. I said, oh, how did I miss it? It's so cute. It's owned by the Bro household, and I can't wait to show y'all it. Surprisingly, I thought this house was a lot bigger it actually the tour is actually gonna be pretty fast it's not that big but it's cute it's got such a nice flow to it it surprised me i believe it's on the crumbling owl and i cannot believe that i actually forgot this household so we're going to take a look inside right now first thing you greet it with is this nice red door Let's go in. Now what's funny is because I guess it's owned by two guys. They have their exercise equipment right in there. And we have our nice fireplace, a couple of gadgets on the top. And though this house is not super expensive, it looks expensive. So you know we have to burn our money. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Now let's check out the TV. This will be where you would sit to see the TV, but it's kind of a strange angle. You know, usually with exercise machines, it's not that attractive, but this is not so bad. Now let's go see our first bedroom. Usually I go straight to the bathroom to wash my hands, but the bedrooms come up first. So this one has got a lot going on. Look at the walls. They almost look like Braille in some way. I hope I'm saying that right. And let's take a look at the closet. You got our DJ station. It's well decorated. Okay, now let's go out. And that's our next bedroom. It's totally different than the other one. This one's actually pretty boring looking, but it's like super plain. I think it's supposed to contrast itself. One is so hip and cool, and this one is just like stick to the rules guys like even the even the post like is saying stick to the rules now let's go down the hall and finally get to our bathroom it's only one bathroom but i think it's pretty good take a look at this it's got potential but it's also got it's pretty well decorated like it's actually lived in plenty of counter space a bath and shower mix if you're hearing chewing is my cat eating her cereal <laughs> behind me <laughs> in the real world um look at this outdoor deck this outdoor deck is so nice okay we got a little table our game table and let's go back inside and go straight to the kitchen the kitchen is we are not in the kitchen yet where are we going let's go straight into the kitchen <laughs> okay the kitchen is so cute like i said this house is really well decorated got a little chalkboard i don't know what that chalkboard says on there but it's a huge kitchen i wouldn't change this kitchen at all it's got a rustic yet fancy look to it i think the kitchen's the prettiest part of the house now i figured with such a strange kitchen it makes some strange food we're gonna make a block of cheese it's not really a meal, it's just a block of fresh cheese. Not mac and cheese, though it looks like it when you cook it. We're gonna make just a block of cheese, which is pretty cool. Very basic ingredients. We're just gonna enjoy our block of cheese. There it is. There's our block of cheese. Okay, so this is where you can sit at, right around the part of the table. You can sit right there, a little, um, you can't really like have a formal, there's no formal dining room. Hmm, this cheese turned out great. Ate it quickly too. Now let us go and wash it up because we have to clean our dishes when we are in somebody else's household. 
And I want to also show y'all what else this kitchen has. You got a microwave, but you also have a tea set. So let's make some nice, I believe make some oolong tea. And I mean, this kitchen is huge. Look at this. I love when they have a tea set in the kitchen. It's like it's hip, modern, really well decorated. I like it. Okay, now let's go outside. I want to show you some of the features. It's nighttime now, so you can see how the house looks at night. This, look at this view. Who wouldn't want to live somewhere like this? So you got these little gardens. It's not really a workable garden. You can't really do anything with it, but you can always change it into that type of garden and make it somewhere you can actually build this. That's more like a sand garden. And let's check out this view. You can't walk down the pier. I thought you could, but you can't. But you can come about this close and look at that view. If it looks that nice at night, can you imagine how it looks in the daytime? It's gorgeous. Okay, guys, so that's basically it. I hope y'all enjoyed Doc Den, because I know I did. It was like a little... I'm losing my voice already. It's like a little hidden gem for everybody involved. I'm really impressed by this house. I didn't think it was that cute. And for 92000 though, it's not a starter house. It is a really cute house. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>